So today we are going to be talking about what to do if he says he'll call or text you and he doesn't, or why you may be getting a lot of, I'll text you or I'll call you and you don't get it. That's what our topic is today. I'm going to give you the reasons why and a little bit about what you can do when you get something you don't want to get. You'd rather get something else. Who am I to be talking about this? Well, I'm Coach Paula Grooms. I'm a dating and relationship coach, licensed social worker, and author of the book, Why Won't He Commit? How a Man Decides to Make You the One. Okay, let's get into it. The reasons why a man says, if you meet him out, for example, he takes your number and he says, I'll text you or I'll call you, and he doesn't. And we're also going to get into when you're in a relationship and he says, I'll text you or I'll call you and he doesn't, and what you can do about both. But first, the whys. Let's look at the first one. You meet a man out. You make a great connection. You might even have a little bit of time. Maybe you've met him, it doesn't really matter where, uh, at a club, at the supermarket, uh, just out. And you meet and you have a really good connection and he takes your number and he says, I'll call you. When you understand the reasons, then you don't put it on yourself that there's something about you that isn't right or there's something that you're not understanding or getting. Well, that a little bit is true because when you understand this, you will no longer feel bad about it. And that's what I want for you, to not feel bad about yourself. It's something you did or didn't do. And second, guess yourself when it comes to men because that will hurt you more than anything else because you're already anticipating that he's not going to call or he's not going to text and then it's just a self-fulfilling prophecy okay so let's look at the reasons the first is yes you've had a great time and you're not crazy to think like oh my gosh we made a real connection you did. He may be putting you in the category of woman to have a relationship with, and he is not ready for a relationship and not looking for one. What do I mean by that? When a man first looks at you, encounters you, talks to you, engages with you, encounters you in any way, he automatically, in his deepest brain, his reptilian brain, this is a Freudian concept. I believe it so heavily. And if you really can ask any man, and, and not one that you uh, might be romantically interested in, but another, you will find it to be true. In other words, the man sizes you up as someone to be in a relationship with. That means deserving of respect. You are in the quote unquote good girl category. Think of it as good girl, not so good girl, meaning you're not just going to have sex with him that night. If he's not looking for a relationship, and this is just a one-time encounter, he's going to pass you by. Now, does that mean in the moment, he's not going to take in all of you, all the wonderfulness, the great conversation you are having, the great momentary stuff that's going on between the two of you? He is you're making it into more. For him, it just is what it is. If you don't know about this, get my book, Why Won't He Commit? How a Man Decides to Make You the One. It will give you the reasons why. It is the puppy principle. And I won't go into that here. I've done it so many times. If you want more on it, get the book, read it, or listen to the audio version here. Go to the chapter, The Puppy Principle, okay? It will tell you the reasons why that is. So he is just taking in all of you and metaphorically petting you and enjoying you for that moment. But he knows that he's not ready for what it is that you're going to take him down in terms of that path. And so he will not follow up with you. Now, automatically you think, well, why does he say it then? Just don't say, I'll text you or I'll call you. It's largely knee jerk for him. In other words, the polite way to leave the conversation in his book is to say it whether or not he's going to follow up, okay? He says it because he feels it coming from you, he's had the chemistry and the connection, and he feels it is the right thing to do in that moment. We could battle about, you know, is it the right thing? Would the honesty be better? It doesn't matter. It makes him feel more comfortable to say it and then go. Okay, that's the number one reason. Number two reason is simply that he's on top of time and he's in the moment and he goes away and because of the puppy principle, some other puppy comes in his path and takes more of his interest. Okay, 
again, go to the puppy principle, really get it, really understand it, and you will uh, get it. Second thing is he's had no intention from the start, but is playing with you. Now, that's, I think, so few and far between. I really don't want you to keep thinking that about men. Sure, it can be true. It's fun to see if he can get the number. That's the biggest thing for him. And that's kind of the what we think about as the typical player or what have you. But again, I think most of those are few and far between. I want you to think about guys being mostly good and the reason why they do it is to be polite, to not be uncomfortable in the moment, or number two, it's just that some other puppy uh, in between such time as he leaves and you parked and another one comes in his path and that's what happens okay so what about when you are in a relationship and the man says i'll text or call and he doesn't well i mean my goodness there are myriad reasons why he's not but i don't want you to go to the extreme about it's something wrong in the relationship again many times what we think we will create and if you are thinking, oh, he doesn't want me anymore, he doesn't like me anymore, something's wrong in the relationship, you're going to really create that. And so you need to do a lot of affirming for yourself that everything is fine. You have got to self-regulate, self-soothe, and stay in the positive mindset. I work with this in my programs where I work with women weekly. It's not just what we do with men, it's how we are thinking. And uh, that may sound woo-woo to you, but it, it truly is not. And I hope it doesn't sound woo-woo because it is so profound and down through the ages, whether it's simply something like the power of positive thinking or all the way to manifesting, there's a lot that's similar in there. Your perception is largely what you are going to create. So let's create that everything is fine until proven otherwise. But you want to hold yourself back from texting first and know that he will be. I want you to ask yourself this question. If you were in a relationship with someone, why would he not be following up with you eventually? Of course he will be. I mean, something would be seriously amiss and if it is, you will find it out. But most of us go to something um, anxious about it or even catastrophizing. And really there's nothing wrong at all. The man is just being a male, focused on what he's doing in the moment. Now you say, okay, well then that's uh, not very nice or not good that he said he'll do it and he doesn't. Well, here's how you can stop that kind of behavior. If he's saying at a particular time he's going to call or text to follow up on plans or something like that, then you can very nicely either do one of two things. Explain like, I'm, I'm concerned, uh, you know, you said you would text earlier and you didn't. That's, um, I, I really, I really like it when somebody sticks to their word. He may come back and you have to be ready for this. Well, why didn't you just follow up with me if you wanted to know? So that's a slippery slope and that's a kind of a difficult one to get into and I'd rather you didn't. The other thing you can do, if it's a pattern, you simply need to do this. You need to stop responding when he does text by not responding when he does text or call. And again, this is if he's in a pattern of doing this and it's routine behavior and it's really getting under your skin. By doing that, you simply show him via action that his behavior, you're not going to accept it. You see, that's how we win because men relate best and get things better when we relate via action. It's one of my gender gaps in my book that women relate via verbalization, men relate via action. It's why you can say things over and over and over again and they don't make a difference. And when you start doing things, it makes a difference. And the ease in which you doing things via action and not verbalization will improve the quality of your relationship so much. And he will actually get it much better. I hope this really explains to a greater degree why you are not being followed up with. If you feel you're having you know, so many of these interactions, you really have to check your mindset about it. Understand why and don't impugn men as a whole 
for uh, certain things that are happening for you. But I can help you really ferret out what more might be going on for you. Either subconsciously you're putting out there to men or simply how you're behaving and presenting yourself. And some little tips and tricks for if you're just uh, single and dating, meaning you don't have a relationship, how you can better put yourself in a position that he will remember you and text, okay? Secondly, if you are having a lot of trouble in your relationship and this is causing you a great deal of anxiety, you've tried what I'm talking about here and it's not working for you, then let's talk about it. And we can talk about it in several ways one of which is absolutely free to you, and that is by being an anonymous guest on my podcast, Make Him Wonder. My podcast, Make Him Wonder, is on all platforms. You can find it everywhere. You've seen highlights of it here. It is real life love and relationship coaching conversations I have with women all across the world, and we delve into the particulars of their unique situation, and we do a full coaching conversation about it. I would love to talk to you. It's simple. Just email my assistant, Michelle, at coachpaulagrooms.com, and we can be talking very soon. I want to help you. It's a way that I can freely help a lot of people. Even through just listening, you can be helped about your relationship, just like in watching videos here, and I hope you will connect with me there. In the meantime, understand by making a man wonder which is the title of the or the yeah the, the the title of the podcast you can make subtle little differences just by doing things here's a tip for you just varying up the times that you text back simple subtle ways that will keep your man just a little bit on his toes a little bit wondering and that can make all the difference for you so do that and I will see you next time. I trust you got a lot of good information in this video and I want you to have more by subscribing and clicking that red alert bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you want even more, there are ways to talk to me. You can talk to me for free on the podcast. You can have a consultation with me. There are several other ways that you can check out by going to coachpaulagrooms.com. I am available to you. Just go now to coachpaulagrooms.com for any question to get my book, to find out about any of my coaching programs, my self-help courses, anything at all that you need. I am here for you and want to give you all that is possible because all is possible for you in your romantic life and you can get what you desire and deserve. I want you to know that. I am happy you are here learning, leveling up, and I will see you in the next video.